Anthropic release subagents in cloud code. So what is a subagent? I love to think about it like this. In our daily work as developers, we wear a lot of hats. We might start our day as product manager, write into writing automations, review or improve some designs, and end the night writing code. A subagent is Cloud's code's way of letting you define each of those roles. But what can you configure for a subagent? A clear purpose and area of expertise, a set of tools it can use, including MCPs, and a custom system prompt to guide how it behaves. You can set up subagents per project or make them available globally across all projects. Regarding pricing, right now every cloud code user can access subagents feature, which means you need to have Pro or Max subscription. What about the token usage? It's too early to determine, but I'll keep an eye on that. Don't worry. All right, we're ready to create our first subagent. The command is slash agents. If you don't see it, you are probably using older cloud code version. Go ahead and update. Here you can see that I don't have any subagent yet. Let's create a new one. Now it asks me if I want to configure it on the project or globally. I'll go with the project. Here you can see you have two ways to generate subagent, generate with Claude or manually. We'll go with the generate with Claude. After we create a subagent, we'll review the generated file so we'll understand all the attributes you need in order to do the manual setup. Let's say I want to create a subagent to write automations. I'll describe it like this. Expert automation writer that handles all levels of tests, units, integration, and end to end. Now I need to configure the tools it will have access to. By default, it selects everything. But I highly recommend manually selecting tools so the agent cannot do something unexpected or break your repo. You can define read only tools, edit tools, execution tools, and the most important, MCP and other tools. I want it to have access to the Playwright MCP. Let's choose it. The annoying part is that you need to choose each MCP function and not to choose the whole MCP. Help me reach out and Anthropic by tagging them in this video. Here comes the crucial decision, pick a color. I'm going with purple because automation devs love purple, obviously. That's it. Under the hidden cloud folder, we have agents folder with our test automation expert.md. We can see here all the attributes needed to be configured if you choose the manual setup, name, description, context prompt, and some context attached to this agent. The final part is to run prompt with this subagent. We'll enter Claude and mention it in the prompt. For example, use the test automation expert subagent to review my end-to-end -end tests. And as you can see, in purple, the subagent is running. Subagents are a powerful addition to cloud code, but as the tool gets smarter, it also gets more expensive in token usage. So if you want to optimize your token usage, you must watch this video.